Hello, Danette May here. I wanna share something with you that I know is affecting your life, is that if you're sitting for long durations, whether that's in the car, you drive for long periods of time, or just simply at a desk, which is about 75% of our population sitting at a desk for long periods of time, you actually are set up to have health problems. But there are stretches you can do to actually help with these health problems. And I'm gonna share with you eight stretches you can do standing by your desk, on the ground. It doesn't matter how you do them, it's just important that you do them. And I actually have a little tip for you. Take your phone and set up like a timer every hour. This will also be a reminder to drink water and to stretch. If you're driving, pull over off the road, do these stretches, you're really gonna help with lower back problems, knee problems, neck problems, sanity, <laughs> and overall health problems. So these first stretches, and I'm gonna um, just show you just a variation so that you can decide if you wanna stand or lay down. So the first thing is shoulder shrugs. So if you're sitting in your chair, you're just lifting your shoulders up, rolling them back, really opening up that chest. We get like this a lot, right? Typing, typing, typing. So lift and roll back and really open up your shoulders, just like that. And I would do anywhere from 10 to 15, depending on your time and then roll forward. You'll find that it feels really, really good. The next one is a simple neck stretch, but I want you to take a minute to breathe through it and really feel your neck going around. Take your time, inhaling and exhaling, and then other direction. Inhale and exhale. And you're just gonna do like a few rotations, really feeling that snap, crackle, pop. The other one is through the shoulder. So you're gonna take your hands and you're gonna slap your back and then rotate out through your hands. So really just stretching, opening up your chest, getting some blood flow in through those shoulders, in through the back muscles. This is a really great one. All right, so you're gonna do this just anywhere from 10 to 15 slaps, depending on your time. The next one we wanna do is really this hip flexor. So this gets very, very, very tight. Um, and especially if you're sitting all the time, if you work out and then sit down, this can get really tight, which creates a distended looking belly. So that's another little tip, but it's also really, really important to keep everything healthy in the hip area. So you can just kneel, put your foot forward. I'm gonna show you on this side for a minute so that you can see, because I'm stretching this section. I'm gonna lean forward just a little bit and then roll my shoulders back so I can feel this stretch. So you're putting your foot up, leaning forward, and you can even bring your head back. You can take a hand up, that'll get you a little bit deeper. You can rotate that hand, really feeling that stretch in through this hip flexor pocket right here. Hold for anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds and then switch sides. The other area is this piriformis. This area right inside here gets very, very tight and a lot of us don't even realize how tight it is, but it affects every single part of our body. So one you, exercise you can do or stretch you can do is you get down on your back and you bring your foot over this leg. For some of you, this is enough. You're already feeling it right in this little pocket, which it connects right up into that hip. If you can, take your hand to that knee and then stretch. You'll feel it right in through here. This is one of the most important stretches you can do for that piriformis, which controls a lot of the knee problems, back problems. It's probably the most important stretch to do every single day. If you need to go a little bit deeper, gently place your hand on your knee and push it away. You'll get a little bit deeper, pull in deeper. You can try different variations. I like swinging this foot, it gets a little bit deeper, but you wanna hold anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds, then switching it out. One of the most important stretches you can do. 
The next stretch is going to get your lower back, which is very, very important. You're gonna bring your foot out and you're gonna cross your knee over your body and bring your other hand out and look at your hand that's extended away from your body. My back just popped. This is a really, really good stretch for that lower back that ties in with the glute. So you're gonna hold, once again, 10 to 15 seconds and then switch it out. Now I know you're probably saying, Jeanette, that's great, but if I'm on the road or I'm at my office, I can't do this stretch. So I'm gonna show you variations if you have to stand. This is a great thing to do in the morning and evening to keep your health intact, and then I'll show you some ones you can do standing. So the last stretch would be for this lower back. I call it the lower back massage. A lot of us are feeling tension in there. You're gonna pull your knees up. You're gonna circle five times like you're massaging that lower back, just like this in one direction and then five times in the other direction. It feels so good. All right, what I wanna do now is just take a minute and show you what you can do while you're standing. The first four exercises where I'm having you roll out your neck, so you can already do those, but if you're standing and you wanna work that glute, what you're gonna do is to get that hip flexor is you're gonna do a standing runner's lunge. So you're gonna bring one foot forward and tuck that hip in just like this. So you have to be the one to tuck the hip in, like sink into the foot, tuck that hip in, and then you can bring one hand up or the other hand, just like that. Really getting in a stretch here in this hip flexor, just like that. And once again, you would switch to the other side. Now for the piriformis, cause you're like, hey, how do I get this piriformis if I'm standing? I'm gonna show you a move you can do and you're always welcome to hold on to the side of your car, your desk, um, anywhere you're at really. You're gonna take your foot and cross it over your leg and then drop your glutes back and down. The key here is to drop your glutes back. You're gonna feel a stretch right here in that piriformis. If you need to hold on to your desk, you can hold on to your desk anything if you want that extra balance and you're going to repeat on the other side nice job now you're wondering about this lower back what we want to do here is bend our knees this would be in place of crossing your legs over your body you're just going to bend down bending your knees take your hands and slowly rock side to side just like this feeling that release your lower back i already feel it it feels amazing nice work Good, good. All right, the last movement I want you to do, standing, is you're gonna, once again, hold on to your desk, a wall, a car, and you're just gonna swing your leg front and back. This has been a lifesaver for me and my hips, that lower section of my body. Just swing that leg, let it just free flow, fall, and swing it back and forth. You can do the other side. Feels so good. I probably need to hold on to something <laughs> just like that. You can also do front to back, so swinging it side to side through the, like that. That feels really good too, really good for that hip. And do about 10 to 15 swings and then repeat on the other side. I hope this has been helpful for you. I love sharing with you strategies that you can do to really enhance your life so you can feel better in your day to day and show up more fully in your life and in your happiness. Thank you so much for listening and watching this video and, and most importantly, thanks for doing the stretches so that you feel better and show up more into the best version of you. Click share if you know somebody else who needs this onto your social medias. I love you guys. Have a great day.